Last night I went to an outdoor amphitheater concert and saw this jazz group, uh, Lao Tizer. Uh, I liked it so much that I even picked up a couple of his CDs. It was really good music. I really enjoyed it a lot. And when we got home, I got out of the car to unlock the gate to our drive, and I lost the key. It was no longer on me. I could not get in the gate without my key. Hello and welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. I started thinking about that, how that relates to our relationship with Jesus Christ. He is our key to heaven. What happens if we lose that key? Well, today I went back and I started retracing my steps and to see where we were at at the, at the uh, concert and then I couldn't find the key anywhere and I went to where we parked at and I'm looking on the ground and I can't find the key. But in the parking space was the same kind of car that I have and on the back bumper was the key. It was sitting right there. What I thought was really interesting is that the license plate said healing hand. I thought, isn't that just like God? Here's my key, healing hands. It's right there for me. And again, I started thinking about that. If we lose our key to heaven, we have to search for it. We have to get it back. And it's that healing hand. I mean, God has that hand extended all the time for us. Jesus is just waiting for us. He doesn't chase us. He doesn't pursue us. He's always there. And all we have to do is turn around and he's there. He's always there. And he is our key to heaven. So if you've lost your key to heaven, I encourage you today to find it, to get it back, to ask Christ back into your life. If you have friends that have lost their way, I encourage you to encourage them. And I hope this will inspire you to encourage them to get back to Christ, to find their key to heaven. Christ is our key to heaven, and he lives in my heart, so I know I'm not going to lose that, and I hope I'm not going to lose my, my gate key again. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. God bless you all.